when we throw away plastic, glass, metal, and paper, it goes to a landfill or is burned. This creates more air and water pollution and uses more of our resources like trees and water. The solution to this problem is to recycle more so that our air, water, and land stays cleaner. <laughs> Now we're going to talk about what you can do. The three arrow symbol that you see on the screen is the symbol for recycling. And each of one of the arrows stands for something different. They stand for reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce and reuse <coughs> mean throwing away less waste and not using as many products. So there are some simple things that you can do at home to reduce and reuse. One of the things that you can do is use a reusable shopping bag, like one that you probably got from one of our workshops before. เอ่อไปโอกาสเจอเทียเฮาชีตอนเจสุรีอ่ะญอเลลุนานอนะนี่จอเตโรจอตัวตอกานอนี่ชีตอตะชีอีจอกูยินไฟจอนานอตาจอ
If you bring lunch from home, you can use a reusable lunch bag and plastic containers instead of plastic bags that you might throw away. And if you have old clothes or old household items that you don't want anymore, you can give them to friends and neighbors or donate them to places like Ark or Savers or Goodwill instead of throwing them away. One really good thing that I think many of you do already is you can compost. Composting is a good example of reducing the amount of garbage you throw away and reusing the product because it breaks down and it makes soil that you can reuse in your garden. So these are all good examples of things that you can do to create less trash and reuse products. <laughs> So now we're going to talk more specifically about what you can recycle and the benefits of recycling. So as we mentioned before, you can recycle glass, metal, plastic, and paper. <coughs> One of the benefits of recycling is it can actually save you money. If you live in St. Paul, recycling is very cheap. It only costs six dollars per year that's paid on your property taxes. And if you recycle, you will have less garbage, so you can probably have a smaller garbage can, which will cost you less money. Is it automatically, uh, if you don't use uh, you know, recycling, uh, recycling do they uh, automatically take they, the six dollars off? Yep, they charge you even if you don't recycle, so it makes sense just to recycle, since they charge you anyways. And it's six dollars for the entire year. <coughs> How many people actually live in St. Paul? Few of you? Including me. B2? <laughs> How many people live in Minneapolis? <laughs> oh, a lot of you. <laughs> How many people live somewhere besides Minneapolis or St. Paul? Minneapolis and St. Paul. Besides, somewhere else, not in Minneapolis. Couple? Okay. So if you live in Minneapolis, you actually get money back for recycling. On your water bill, which is the bill that's up on the screen, you can get a $7 credit per month. So it's $7 that's taken off your water bill just for recycling. The only thing is, is you have to call the water bill company, so Minneapolis, and ask for the credit. 
เจ้าหน้อมีเนี่ยพลิสนาอย่าเตเปมัวปิจกิญญาลีปตาหาไหนาเจ้าหมู่ตลอดจ่อเจ้าหลอดโชเชียนาเจอีลีตือลายาตอ